Okay, we're still doing the, the muscles of the uh, appendicular skeleton, and um, we can see that actually the muscles, same muscles, just on the torso, and this is pectoralis major, that was like part of it in the other model, but you see the other parts, the whole muscle together is pectoralis major, pectoralis minor is underneath, and this is a deltoid, we saw that already, but you can see it on the torso. And this muscle right here is called the trapezius, and the trapezius is a huge muscle that goes like this, goes to the head, the back of the head, and goes to the back here, the huge muscle that looks like trapezoid, it looks like a trapezium. Here is part, and here is the part. Looks like diamond shape, trapezium, trapezi trapezius muscle. This is actually, if you look here, this is your um, uh, spine, the scapular spine. So this is a muscle under the scapula, uh, in the, in the infraspinous uh, fossa, inferior to the spine, infraspinatus. The supraspinatus is covered by the trapezius. In the other model, they cut it, so you can see it, so it's underneath, above, but underneath, above the, the spine, superior to the spine, supraspinatus, but it is, uh, it's covered by the trapezius now. This is infraspinatus, it's inferior to the spine, infraspinatus. And here, here is teres major, and this one right here, teres minor. So you have two muscles, inferior to the inferior to the inferior spinatus. This is teres major, and this is teres minor. Uh, since we are in the back already, so we can see the latissimus dorsi. It, it latissimus means fan, and dorsi means the back. So this is the fan-shaped muscle in the back. Latissimus dorsi. It looks like a fan. Goes like this, fan. Of the, of the back, latissimus dorsi. If you go here, you see the serratus anterior muscle. It's serrated, look, serration. Here is a serrated surface. So this is serratus anterior. Um, this is the part that's related to the upper limb. Um, if we're going to continue with the muscles of the head and neck, and this is like one of the easy parts, this muscle right here, it's on the frontal bone. This is called frontalis. If you go to the back, this muscle right here, it's on the occipital bone, and this is called occipitalis. And this muscle right here on the temporal bone, it's called temporalis. Actually, you can call frontalis together with occipitalis, and this cover, which is called the epicranial aponeurosis, the white cover. Epicranial means around the skull, epicranial aponeurosis. So together, if you put the frontalis, epicranial aponeurosis, occipitalis, it's called the occipital frontalis muscle. Sometimes they call it the epicranius muscle. And this in between is epi uh, the epicranial aponeurosis connecting the frontalis to the occipitalis. The next muscle is this muscle right here, which is called the masseter muscle, the muscle of mastication, right here, the masseter muscle. And you can see two muscles here. This is a zygomatic bone. You see two muscles. Here is one, diagomaticus major, and here is one, diagomaticus minor. So the zygomatic bone, two muscles are coming from this. Here is a large one, zygomaticus major, and this is zygomaticus minor. If you move to the front, this muscle right here is a muscle that elevates the lip. Levator, labi. Superioris because it's above the lip. So levator, labi, superioris. And you see here there is one under the lip, and this is going to depress the lip. So this is called the depressor labi inferioris. Superior lipi superioris, inferior lipi inferioris. The next is going to be the rounded muscle. And rounded in Greek means orbicularis. You have this muscle right here, orbicularis oculi. Oculi means eye. So the round muscle of the eye, orbicularis oculi. And this muscle, they cut a piece of it, but it's, it's rounded. So this is the orbicularis oris muscle. Orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis means round. The round muscle of the eye, orbicularis oculi. The round muscle of uh, the mouth, orbicularis oris. Okay, if you continue here, you will see this muscle, and you see the attachment that's coming from sternum. This is coming from the sternum. So this is the sternal, and this is from the clavicle. Sterno, cledo, and if you follow, it's going to the mastoid bone behind your ears. So what do you call it? Sterno, cledo, Sternum, clavicle, sternocleido, mastoid, sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay, sternocleidomastoid. This is the longest muscle here. If you look here, this is, it's not very clear, it looks like uh, uh, 35, it's right here. This is in the middle of your baka, in the middle of your cheeks. It's covered 
by this muscle here and this, and the masseter is covering, the masseter is covering, and the, the, uh, the zygomaticus major is covering, and the resorus muscle is covering. It's in between, right in the middle of your barca or your cheeks. This is called the bucinator muscle or the buccinator muscle. Bucinator or buccinator, same thing. Okay, if you go to the muscles of uh, the abdomen, these are the easiest muscle of all. Look at the directions of the fibers of the muscles. And let's take this out here so you can see it easier. If you see the direction of the muscles, like this, if you look closer here, you see the direction of the muscle is going longitudinal. Or if you measure it to the ground level or the, or the floor, it's perpendicular or erected, rectus. So this is rectus abdominis muscle. You have two parts, and in between, there is a white line that's called linea alba. And this is the back of the umbilicus here. So this is from inside. So you see the direction of the fibers is going longitudinally, rectally, uh, rectus, rectus. So you call it the rectus abdominis. Same here, but it's covered, and you have two parts passing on each on either side of the linea alba in the middle that goes by the umbilicus. The next one is, if you look here, the direction of the fibers is going transversely, and this is called the transverse abdominis muscle, transverse abdominis. And the, the third type is oblique. You see the direction of the fibers here? It's not transverse and not longitudinal. It's in between, oblique, diagonally. So this is the external oblique. And the, you can also see muscle here, this muscle in between the reps, and this is called the intercostal muscles. If it is between the reps from inside like this, internal and intercostal, if it is outside, then you see part of it, just a small part here. This is the external intercostal muscle. And these are the muscles of the abdomen. And if you look inside, right here, those two copulas, sorry, those two copulas right here, this is the diaphragm. This and this. And this is separating uh, the, the chest from the abdomen. In between, right here, this muscle here, this is the diaphragm. And it's one of the skeletal muscles.